So it's Vader day, day three. Probably get some funny looks because I'm actually sitting outside a restaurant here where we've just eaten. Day three is supposed to be your greatest mentor. Well, I can't say I've ever had a mentor. However, there have been three people I can think of that have sort of influenced me to, to do things or get interested in things. Um, the first is someone called Douglas Bader. Um, he was a Second World War fighter ace who actually lost his legs in a flying accident a few years before the, the war started uh, and became a fighter pilot uh, despite that. And he had a, a great outlook on life, the sort of outlook that it doesn't matter what disability you've got or what problems you've got, you, know, you can do anything. A feature film was made about his life called Reach for the Sky. There's one particular scene in the film that sums up his amazing can-do attitude. He's learning to walk with his two tin legs when the doctor says, no one with your disability has ever walked without sticks. And his reply is, what has that got to do with it? I thought I'd walk out of here tonight. Been running about in a fortnight. Now look, Mr. Barter, I think you ought to face it. You'll never walk again without a stick. Damn that, I'll never walk with one. My dear chap, no one with your disability has ever walked without one. What's that got to do with it? This is a story of courage. It has no end because courage has no end. It is the story of a man made famous by war, yet for whom the war was only an episode in a greater victory. Fought for and won in silence and pain. The victory of a man's own spirit, creating strength and hope out of disaster. I'd highly recommend you watch the film. and There's a link in the description to um, the full feature film on YouTube. It was watching this film as a child that was one of the main things that uh, made me want to become a pilot. Um, I did try to become an RAF pilot uh, at 18. After three days of really all kinds of tests, I was finally turned down because of a very slight hearing loss in one ear that I didn't know I had. I did learn to fly in my 30s though, and actually owned a, a share of this little beauty for a while. Sadly, it was written off by the new owner not too long after we sold it. Uh, the next one is someone that got me interested in gardening. Uh, it may sound like a funny thing. He was a TV gardener called uh, Jeffrey Smith. I wasn't into gardening at the time, but uh, whenever I watched him, he was so passionate about it that his enthusiasm rubbed off on me. And uh, it's something I've enjoyed for the rest of my life. I grow fruit because I find the whole business fascinating. Trying to understand which is the best pruning to produce the best crop. And having seen some of the prices in the shops recently, that's an even better reason. I don't feel as if I'm eating pound notes when I pick strawberries from my own plant. And the third thing um, is a Formula One driver called James Hunt, who was the world champion in 1976 and he was just such a, an amazing character that uh, that really got me interested in in watching motor racing uh, which spilled over into me actually racing for nine years myself you know, many years later when I could afford it That's it, really. So, see you tomorrow. Bye.